Hey guys, this is my book collection. There's just some books that I got for this year. One of them um, I got was uh, a little bit earlier than the um, the rest of them. Like these three books really came from uh, just the other day actually. And this came like, I guess like last month. This was last month. But these are some books that I just got the year and I just wanted to explain them and do some book reviews. Um, here we have The Book of Proof. Um, it's by Richard Hammack, and here, right, um, we just have some, basically, um, doing, uh, mathematical proof, basically, and as you can see here, they have, um, the beginning section, so they have the fundamentals, uh, sets, you know, they tell you, basically, when you, you know, doing proofs, you have to, um, know, you know certain definitions right and as we hear as we see here we have like the set we have the logic here uh, we have the counting have direct proof uh contrapositive proof proof by contradiction and you know some other uh, stuff that you know basically that you have to learn uh with proof and here like there's some really good um stuff here and this is actually um dedicated uh, towards um, his students, right? This book was actually dedicated. Yeah. There's also a free version online. Um, I like to have the the um, the book in person um, in my hand, but um, as you can see here, right? That's like the schedule of the <laughs> of the class, and this book was kind of like the textbook for <laughs> basically his class, and um, it was dedicated um, for his students to look at. And yeah, he has some exercises there in the textbook, and um, I'm not too sure where the answer. I think the answers are in back, I believe. I'm not too sure though. I didn't really take a, a deep dive into this book, but um, I am taking proofs um, next semester, and um, and also I'm taking complex analysis, which is a hard, a harder proof class. So um, I'm trying to get some understanding on what proofs is. And able to, um, you know, be more comfortable in taking a grad level complex analysis class. So, yeah, this is the proof book. And I'm just going through stuff right now. I'm just going through the, um, the book now. But, yeah, it's a really good book. Um, I really did enjoy it. Um, I haven't finished it yet, um, reading yet, but I really do enjoy, enjoy this book. So, yeah, this is a book by Pro Book of Proof basically, by uh, Richard Hammack. And let's go on with the next one. The next one is uh, The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry. It's by uh, Julian Coolidge. And um, as you know, Euclidean geometry is geometry of flat surfaces, and non-Euclidean geometry is geometry of curves and uh, hyperbolas, uh, paraboloids, stuff like that. Um, as you can see here, we have geometry of limited, of a limited region. Um, we have some axioms, right? Axiom of um, continue, continuity, um, congruent transforms, three hypotheses, these. And we have analytic uh, formula, stuff like that. Um, this book really, um, I kind of bought just to buy it, honestly. Um, don't really, I don't really have a, um, a sense of geometry. I never really had a sense of geometry. But, um, really, um, as I bought the books, and, um, and I have the bigger version, actually, uh, by, um, I have the 12 Elements by Euclid. It's a really large book. And, but this one is, you know, a little bit shorter. Um, but with non-Euclidean geometry, that's basically, you know, somewhat, basically our universe, right, is built upon, uh, you know, non-Euclidean geometry. So as you can see here, right, um, it's, they tell you, like, basically the information that you need to know, you know, about non-Euclidean geometry, you know, um, how, how that, uh, how that was studied, basically, um, Proofs. We got a couple of proofs here. Um, here it looks like that you have some type of um, 
trigonometric uh, formula for yes is that for for something I can't I can't um, recognize it but I haven't also I again I just got this book the other way so I haven't been um, going through it but it's really really cool really good book um, I mean if you're studying geometry I do recommend right if you're a person who really likes geometry and um, I recommend the 12 elements and this book right get both of them non Euclidean and, uh, Euclidean and yeah this book is really good um, the next one so I'm gonna do some, uh, the big one which is real analysis and what's funny is that I didn't think this book was going to be that big I didn't think it was actually going to be a textbook okay as you know um, as you go towards you know more of the higher math higher mathematics um, real analysis you know and and above basically the books get smaller but in this case, um, Jay Cummings, he makes this book very, very uh, big. And I was actually, I'm actually waiting for other version. Well, not other versions, but, well, I guess, yeah. Um, other versions of like, you know, with other um, higher mathematics of these types of books, because I feel like these are the books that we kind of need, right? So after um, proof, so basically this is a proof book after proofs, right? Um, sometimes uh, for proofs class, you'll be given, you know, the book that I just showed you, the blue book, um, which was the book of proof by Richard uh, Hammack. Um, but this one is, you know, the real analysis. So this is after proofs, right? So once you know a proofs, basically have a little understanding of proofs, you do this, right? Real analysis, which goes into uh, basically understanding uh, what the reals are, uh, cardinality, cardinality, sorry. Uh, sequences, series, and then we have here topology, continuity, differentiation, integration, right? And yeah, and as you can see here for this book, the answers are not uh, to the exercises. So if I go to the exercises real quick. As you can see the exercises are not on uh, in this book they are well well the exercises in this book sorry the answers are not in this book uh they are on this website here longformath.com i went to that website um it's selected solutions right as you can see here they kind of put a note here hints and solutions to select exercises can be found right so it's, it's to the ones maybe that they believe that you know that are hard that may, you know, want to look at, for example, this proof right here, they're not going to have the answer to this one I tried to look for. Um, obviously, you can tell here it says explain the error in the following proof that 2 equals 1, that x equals y, and then, you know, they have that proof here, right? Obviously, you can see the error, error right here, right? When they divide by um, x minus y, because as you can see here, x is equal to y. So if you were to, you know, put that out there, you know, you have um, x equal to y, so that means x can equal y, so that means that y minus y equals zero, and you're dividing by zero, basically. So when you divide by zero and mess with uh, infinity, you get weird uh, coincidences like this, like two equals one. So you can't actually do this, basically, because you're saying that x is equal to y. Um, so that's, you know, that's that's basically the proof, the answer to that proof. Um, and then you have some other exercises here, right? Just let me see about the other stuff, yeah. Again, this book I, I didn't really look at. And, you know, I have barely any knowledge of uh, mathematical proof. But, you know, I'm learning um, along the way. Um, I'm still a, uh, an undergrad in my sophomore year <laughs> and, um, I'm trying to survive linear algebra right now. So, um, let the camera focus. Yeah. I'm trying to survive linear algebra right now. So, you know, it's hard <laughs> for me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is going to be one of my journeys and, uh, going towards, um, you know, the complex, um, you know, throughout this, uh, book. So, you know, as me being a math major, I am also a physics major. So I had to get some dark energy and dark matter. 
uh, stuff in there. And here, this book is really just the theoretical side of things. I didn't really see any mathematical stuff. Um, so as you can see here, the title, Dark Matter and Dark Energy, The Hidden 95% uh, of the Universe, Brian Clegg, right? And um, there is a difference between dark matter and dark energy. Um, they do have like similar characteristics, but really, you know, dark energy is the most, and then it goes to dark matter, and then it goes to regular matter, right? So uh, dark energy and dark matter is basically what makes up our uh, universe, right? So normal matter is that 5%. So stuff that you can see, you, you and I, um, you know, the table, star, stars that you can see, the um, your room, your um, the restaurant across your across your um, the street or whatever, right? Basically, everything that you can see right now, basically, and um, dark matter and dark energy is everything that you can't see, right? So they're saying that basically physicists um, have proved in this case that dark matter that, that there is some other type of matter, right? Um, that has made the universe. And the reason why with, the, with this being is because um, the light, as we were observing uh, space, and um, we could see that the light was not being, I guess, reflected to the negative eye. And they're saying that um, that normal matter couldn't have made basically the universe. So it's it had to be made by dark matter. And again, I'm not saying I'm not saying that too right. Again, I'm like an undergrad, so um but yeah, basically that's what it, it, it explains. So um as you can see here, dark matter and dark energy. Um this is uh, again the theoretic more of the theoretical and it's by Brian, Brian Clegg. Um this is more of the theoretical side. So as you can see, this is like you see first imaging, so cosmology as we seen is the science of the universe as a unified object combined with the study of the laws of the government that whole definition of cosmology assumes of course that we know that the universe is the original latin from which the word universe is derived means one term so they just tells you like you know a little bit of what dark matter actually is this is kind of like a beginning beginner's guide like for physicists and especially for me like especially you know for undergrad or even you know anyone like in high school too as well right uh who just wants to study um who's interested in physics and trying to understand dark matter as you see here one things ain't what they seem to be right trying to give you that introduction to what it is exploring the universe right gain some knowledge on cosmology the matter of missing matter then you get the physics side of that um how big is the universe getting bigger faster right the expansion of the universe and then um a continuing story so here like i said is more of like the theoretical side of things trying to get it into more this is this proves it in more of a uh, an introduction um then it does have like a little bit of physics but i this is the thing that i like about this book it's um i didn't really again i got this book the other day so um i didn't get to read it too much but this book really does help um I think will help a lot uh, with my major because I do have an interest in dark matter and dark energy. So um, I think it will, you know, give me a brief understanding. And yeah, th so later on uh, when I make another video, I probably will have a book that talks about more of the mathematical part and more of the physics. Yeah, physics and mathematical uh, derivations and equations for it. But this one is really just all words as you can see like i don't see i haven't seen any formulas yet in here this i think i've seen like one or two but it really just talks about the uh what it is what dark matter really is and yeah those are the books um that i have yeah it's really interesting um definitely uh should look at these books and yeah i hope you guys enjoy